Now the chirping song that you will hear throughout this entire video is not the song of four cute little baby birds asking for food, but it is the song of the Barbados whistling frog. Now these species are native to Barbados and they really only come out at night, but because it's the wet season, they are going to be chirping in the bushes non-stop. So there's very little I can do about that right now. So I would encourage you to enjoy the choruses of chirps as they sing throughout my tutorial. Now, if you want to see these whistling frogs in action, there's a link in the description below to a guy who actually recorded these frogs. Um, the photo here is by the same guy here. Now, on to the tutorial. Hi there. All right, so the first thing we are going to do here is to create the assignment. And many of you already know, you just click Create Assignment and boom here we are so i'm going to fill in my instructions here and the name of this assignment is going to be things in our environment so just let me type this in here all right so after i've done that i want to attach the assignment so i'm going to click add here and then come down to google drive just wait for it to come out in my recents because i recently uploaded and it should be a summer worksheet. Let's look, it's right here. All right, so it's attached. And by default, it gives me this option here, which is students can view file. Now, this is already a static document because it's a PDF and students will not be able to edit this file regardless. But let's say this was a Word document or a Google slide document, then this method would only allow the students to all view the copy that you are sharing and they won't be able to edit that unless they decide to make their own copy. They can do that. Now, there are other options here for sharing this assignment and that would be students can edit file and make a copy for each file, but we'll look at that in the next assignment we attached. So in this Jamboard assignment, there are some scenarios for your students to read, up to five scenarios. So for each scenario, they are to read it and then give their conclusion on the scenario. And this is a more collaborative effort um, where students can work together on the assignment in groups um, within the class and start entering the answers. And of course, there need to be some measure of accountability. So students can add their name at the end of it and try to be more responsible. And their peers will be watching up for who does what within the assignment as well. All right, so this is a good assignment. All right, so this assignment is a collaborative assignment and I would want all of my students to work on it together or in groups, however I choose to assign it. All right, so I'm going to click the arrow here and select the second option which says students can edit file. Now this will allow all of the students who are assigned to this assignment to edit one file. So assignment number three and the last option in this drop down list here, which is make a copy for each student. Now this option will give each student an individual copy for them to work in. Listen to the whistling frogs in the bush. You can't see them, but you can hear them as they chirp. Here's a fun fact. The whistling frogs that you hear in this video give birth to live young, not tadpoles as with normal frogs. So that's the end of this froggy fun fact. Let's get back to the tutorial. So let's take a look at the assignment. This is a contraction action, just a drag and drop um, the words that actually make a contraction. And I'm assigning it here, and this will be the last assignment. So this has been three ways you can share your assignment with your students. I hope that you uh, find this video very informative. If you want access to the assignments that were used in each of the examples in this video, you can access them via the links in the description. I also invite you to subscribe to my channel.